Have you ever been certain about a past event only to discover you remembered it all wrong? Then you might have experienced what is known as the Mandela Effect. This curious phenomenon is when a large group of people shares a false memory, an event that didn't actually occur or details that were incorrectly remembered. Intriguing, isn't it? The Mandela Effect is named after the iconic figure Nelson Mandela. Here's where it gets mind-boggling. A significant number of people vividly recall Mandela dying in prison during the 80s. But in reality, Mandela was released from prison in 1990 and lived until 2013. Strangely enough, this collective misremembering isn't limited to a small group or a specific region, it's widespread, crossing international borders and cultural barriers. This is just one instance of the Mandela effect. There are countless more that might surprise you. Indeed, the Mandela effect extends far beyond historical events. It even creeps into our everyday life. An uncanny example of this phenomenon is how we remember the beloved children's book series. Many recall the Fuzzy family being called the Bernstein Bears, a memory that's persisted over the years. However, the reality is that the Bear family's name is spelled as the Bernstein Bears. A seemingly minor discrepancy, yet it's shared by a large number of people, the Monopoly Man, another iconic character, is often remembered with a monocle gleaming in his eye. It's an image many of us can picture clearly, but alas, it's a figment of our collective imagination. The Monopoly Man, in fact, has never had a monocle. It's a detail that's been misremembered, reinforcing the pervasive nature of the Mandela effect even in our favorite galaxy far, far away, the Mandela Effect has left its mark. Star Wars, a franchise embraced by millions, has one of the most famous lines in cinematic history. Luke, I am your father. It resonates with fans and non-fans alike. Yet the actual line is, no, I am your father. Despite this, the misquote has been perpetuated in pop culture, leading many to remember it incorrectly. These examples might seem trivial, but they raise a larger question. Why do so many of us remember things that never happened? Is it mere faulty memory, or is there a deeper, more complex explanation? Could it be a ripple effect from an alternate universe, or a glitch in our perceived reality? The Mandela Effect, as elusive as it is, continues to baffle us, challenging our understanding of memory, reality, and our very perception. It's a puzzle that's both fascinating and slightly unnerving, reminding us of the enigma that is the human mind. The Mandela Effect is a curious phenomenon, and several theories try to explain it. The first theory we'll delve into is the glitch in the matrix theory. This theory suggests that the Mandela effect is evidence of changes in our reality. It's as if someone has tinkered with the fabric of our universe, causing minor inconsistencies in our collective memory. The second theory is the parallel universes theory. This theory proposes that there are multiple universes, each slightly different from the other. These universes are said to exist side by side, and sometimes they might even overlap. The Mandela effect, according to this theory, is a result of us shifting between these parallel universes, hence the discrepancies in our memories. However, these theories, as intriguing as they are, are purely speculative and lack scientific backing. While these theories are fascinating, they remain in the realm of speculation. The Mandela Effect is still a mystery that continues to baffle us. So, is the Mandela Effect real? The answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. You see, 
there is a distinct lack of scientific evidence either confirming or debunking the Mandela effect. This phenomenon is shrouded in mystery, making it a perfect topic for late night discussions and captivating debates. Some may argue that the Mandela effect is just a result of our faulty memory. Others might suggest it's proof of alternate realities or a glitch in the matrix. But at the end of the day, the belief in the Mandela effect is deeply personal and subjective. It's an interpretation of our experiences, of the world around us, and of the memories we hold dear. There's no concrete right or wrong here. Only what you perceive and choose to believe. The Mandela effect, real or not, certainly makes us question our memories and reality. What do you think about it? Do share your thoughts.